this is Amara at nine weeks or just over nine weeks so I'm gonna do a little update on her so her clothes at the moment she's in she is in zero to three um they do fit her nice um she can get into some three to six months but they're not um they're not like perfect fit though they are still slightly big but um she's kind of in between really um she's 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 still in little cloth nappies um what else oh her weight um i got her weighed last week um she was 12 pounds nine um and that was the last time I got away before that was um, was two weeks before that, and she was eleven pound two. So she's she's not quite put on. She's slowing down in her weight. She's not quite put on those um, a pound a week. She's starting to slow down now. Um, she's still breastfed, hundred percent breastfed. She's not had a bottle yet. Um, I I do pump and I store the milk away, but um, we've not used any of the milk. She's never had a bottle. Um, she's the only one of my children to not have a bottle by now. Um, Kaysen had a bottle at three weeks old and Noah, I can't quite remember with Noah. I know he definitely, we tried him when we was in Qatar when he was around eight weeks old, but I can't remember if we tried him before, before I left for Qatar. Um, but yeah, she's the only one so far that's not had a bottle at this stage. Um... What else? She's um, smiling loads and she makes a lot of noises. If you talk to her, she tries to talk back to you. She tries, you know, all the agoo noises and she does a lot of those. Um, she's very, very, very smiley baby to not just um, people that she knows, but to pretty much anybody who will talk to her. She, she gives them a big smile. Um, yeah, she goes again. Hmm. Um... She's a pretty good baby. She's still pretty good. Um, we haven't quite figured out her routine yet. Um, I don't really follow anything. Like, I'm not like, okay, you've got to go down at this time. If she's tired, she'll just fall asleep. And I'll just leave her where she is. If she's in a swing, she'll be there. If she's in my arms, if I've not, not got nothing to do, she'll just, she'll, just sit, she'll just lay in my arms and sleep. But there's not really any routine at the moment. Um... I don't know what I can say about her. She's not rolling yet, although she's sort of trying to give it a go now. But no, she's not rolling any any way. Um, I can't remember what ages they start to do that, but yeah, she's not attempting any of that. She don't really get to go on the floor very much because we've got a, a five-year-old and a three-year-old. Um, she don't really get a look in on the floor because <laughs> I'm a bit worried that one of them's going to stand on her or something. So yeah, she's a poor little thing. She don't really get the chance. Um... She's started that teething process, you know, like where they start getting really dribbly um, and they sort of get a bit fussy and they like put their hands in their mouth and rub their hands along their gums. She started all that. Um, all my children started uh, like from a, anywhere from about five to seven weeks old. I think she was around seven weeks when, or six or seven weeks when she started it. But all my children have been about about the sort of same stage when they started getting like that really dribbly and... Um, yeah, rubbing their hands and fussing a little bit. And we've used Dentinox twice on, on the bottom of her gums. Um, there she is. There she is. Um, yeah, so she started um, that little process. And all my children got teeth. Well, the, the, my, 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 my older two did. Got teeth. Um, one got teeth, the bottom teeth, at five and a half months. And then I think Noah was about six months. Or six, maybe six months, maybe a few days. Um... So, yeah, they've all started it at the same sort of time. So I'm presuming that um, she'll probably be about the same anywhere between sort of five and a half, six and a half months, something like that. I could be wrong, but um, we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm sure, I, it sounds so silly to say this, but I'm sure on the bottom of her, like on the, along the bottom of the gums, that she's got um, the corner of one of the, well, I can, I'm sure I can see a corner, like a white, edge of a tooth but I mean I'm not going to be sure unless it keeps going keeps growing I'm not really going to be sure um but she is quite a big baby really I mean just look at the size of her little legs look I think she's probably the, the big my biggest baby not just in weight at birth but like 
begin like as growing as well. I mean, I look back at Noah's um, videos. It was only yesterday, and he doesn't look he doesn't look half as chubby as what Amara does in the videos. But they do look really similar. Um, Amara and Noah. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, lovely girl. Yeah. But yeah, she's overall, she's a really good baby. I can't really think of anything else to say, really. I've covered clothes and whey and feeding, teething, no routine. Yeah, there's not, not really much that they do, really, is there, at this stage? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm trying to keep um, on top of these updates as like, regularly as I can. But I'm trying to give you a good look at her, really. Amara! 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 Hello, beautiful girl! Hello. I don't think she knows her name at all. We don't really call her by her name. No, she gets called all sorts. I call her baby girl. Baby girl! <laughs> baby girl! Um, yeah, she gets called all sorts. There she goes. Oh! Yeah! She's just so big. She's just so chubby. Yeah, any questions, anything you want to know about her, you can leave them below. And I will I will write back to you. I always try to write back. Um, but yeah, we'll speak to you for her next update.